Hello guys, today I will show you how to make my bacon mac and cheese uh, for beginners. If you're new to my page, uh, go ahead and subscribe, um, like, share this post so that you can stay updated with uh, all the recipes I make for my family. This recipe is not complicated to make, I will show you how to make it. In a hot pan, you want to brown your flour and butter. Feel free to use a pressure cooker if you want to. Once it's brown, you're going to add your milk, you're going to add your seasonings, and you're also going to add some saved pasta water from your macaroni that you baked. You're going to add your cheese, right? Um, both cheese or three cheese, whichever cheese you're going to use, you're going to add it now. And you're going to keep on stirring, right? On medium, high heat. Keep stirring until the consistency looks like this. Stirring is very important in this step because it's going to basically be the base of your creaminess. So continue to stir until all the cheese has melted. If you feel like the cheese is burning, go ahead and reduce the heat a little bit and you keep stirring until the consistency look like this. To add your cooked elbow macaroni inside, just keep stirring. And at this point, you can actually turn off the heat and then keep stirring until everything is blended correctly like this. By that time, your oven uh, should have been preheated for uh, 350 or 340. Pour your cooked um, mac and cheese into a very large bowl. This serving is about uh, 10 to 12 people. Um, I usually cook for, uh, for four people, but I like to make it for meal prep. So make sure it's evenly inside the tray. And you're going to add some more cheese on the top. That's optional, you don't have to. I had these leftover cheese in my fridge that were only like few slices, so I just decided to add it. Okay, so here you're going to add the Italian crumbs. I prefer to use the Italian crumbs because it's um, it's actually less thicker than the actual uh, regular breadcrumbs that people usually use for mac and cheese. And this one is flavorful. The Italian um, breadcrumb is flavorful, so I like using that. You're going to drizzle some olive oil. Trust me, it's gonna make a difference when you add it on the top of the crumbs at the end. Now you're going to put it inside your um, oven. And you're going to bake it for just uh, 20 to 25 minutes. And Look at that. Perfect perfectly brown. To achieve this, you're going to broil at the end of the 20 minutes for about 5 minutes to 10 minutes on low. And then while it, the um, mac and cheese was baking, go ahead and air fry your bacon. You're going to chop them. Uh, you're going to add them on the top of the mac and cheese. Uh, you're also going to add some chives or some green onions. Um, I like green onions, so I added like a good amount and voila it's finished it's ready to eat uh, when i say this dish is one of the best uh, dish that i like to make for my family i'm not over exaggerating it's uh, super super delicious and it's not too heavy too because i feel like most of the recipe that i see on social media they use way too much stuff uh, to make the mac and cheese it doesn't have to be like have all these things for mac and cheese uh, you can accomplish a very delicious mac and cheese with these simple ingredients below here is me eating uh, for content obviously my family is actually waiting for me on the table but i'm over here just trying to make sure i make some content for social media um, even though i have like a very low following i don't know why i've been doing this for so long but anyways, follow and like if you like this recipe. Thank you for watching.